Welcome back and thank you for staying logged on right here at Blacks in Motion. And we're going to talk a little NBA basketball. We're on to round two. That's right. We got rid of the riffraff, even though it wasn't like riffraff. Why? We had a record number of game sevens in the first round. Very competitive. Best first round of basketball definitely in my lifetime, maybe ever. So we're going to get into these matchups of round two, starting with the Spurs and the Trailblazers. As you can see, it started off pretty one-sided. The Spurs seem to have gotten back in rhythm behind the leadership of Tony Parker, going to the basket, finishing at the basket. I think there's a hidden health issue, but I won't say that too loud. Hopefully he can still play and lead the Spurs. Now somebody that's he's passing the torch along to is Kawhi Leonard. Whenever this guy has a big game, the Spurs win big. This guy has multi, he's multi-talented. He can do many things on the court. Hopefully he can still continue to be nurtured in that Spurs system and help them lead them past the Blazers. And if you want my prediction, I am going to say that they will beat the Portland Trail Blazers, who has a young stars in themselves with Dave Damian Lillard and LaMarcus Aldridge. Both of those guys are great at their position, but look for the Spurs to go ahead and take that series and go into the Western Conference Finals. Next out West, Oklahoma City and the Clippers. Look, Oklahoma City, if you ask me, they'll never be the same without Harden. I think their chemistry is different, and Ibaka doesn't play in the post, and their post-production has gone down because of that. But they have Russell Westbrook. Now, many people want to blame him for taking too many shots away from Kevin Durant. I don't think that's a big enough issue, as so is his attitude. Not a bad attitude, but when he gets too pumped up, he likes to shoot, he likes to take over, and always that's not the best thing for the team at the time. Now, speaking of Kevin Durant, he just recently got crowned MVP. Don't have to talk about his credentials, but shout out for him giving his mother a shout out. Very heartfelt thing. He was in tears at the podium. It's something that you can show the love of the game and the love of family in that man. He deserves everything that he gets. Now, for the Clippers, beware because Chris Paul is playing at the top of his game right now. When he's scoring and everything is coming through him and he's being that court general, look for the Clippers to excel. Now, the other guy I'm going to talk about is not Blake Griffin, but the other half of the Lob City, and that's DeAndre Jordan. This guy's at the top of the league in blocks, field goal percentage, and rebounds. Look, this guy is an unheralded star out there with the Clippers. Probably should have made the all-star team, but look for those guys to continue to dominate that series. I think OKC again, chemistry all the way off. Look for the Clippers to come out that series and the Western Conference Championship played out between the Spurs and the Clippers. Now moving out east, Wizards, Pacers. Now the Wizards, they're not going to be Cinderella, but these guys are serious and the Pacers are playing like garbage right now. And the Wizards are being led by their two young guards, John Wall and Bradley Bill. Look, these guys are going to be the backcourt of the future out in the East. You have scoring, you have shooting, you have driving to the basket. These guys are high impact, high intensity. So look for Wall and Bill to continue to be dominant. Now as far as the Pacers, Roy Hibbert, I don't know what to say about you, Doc. You know, I, I was really behind you, man. But now you can't be counted on to do anything. Zero points, zero rebounds. Can, can you at least foul somebody? Travel. Do something. Commit a foul. Do something so you can get something on the stat sheet. But somebody that is getting something on the stat sheet for the Pacers is Lance Stevenson. He's somewhat of a firecracker, too, like Russell Westbrook. You never know what he's going to do. But he did lead the league in triple doubles this year. So look for him as being a spark for that team as they possibly come out of that series. I'm still going to pick them to beat the Wizards because they'll bring it together. But the longer they go without production from Hibbert and looking lost, don't be surprised if the Wizards do come out of that series. Now, last but not least. Miami Heat and the Brooklyn Nets. Now, everybody wants to make a big old deal out of this because the Brooklyn Nets swept the regular season series. They beat them four different times during the regular season. But the first game, yeah, the Heat blew them out the box. So look for the Heat to rest on their big three, Dwayne Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh. Those guys are still superstars in this league as long as they're healthy and rested and look for them to go ahead and make a deep run. Now, if anybody is going to help the Nets, it's going to be Kevin Garnett, and Paul Pierce, Paul Pierce, excuse me. Now a lot of those guys, those two guys, they're old. We know this. But when you show up to play, kind of like what Paul Pierce did in the Toronto series, the Nets may have something. But he's gonna need his partner in crime, Kevin Garnett. Look, Kevin, I know it's old. I know you're getting long in the tooth, and the treads may be running smooth on the ties, brother. But you gotta bring it all together to give yourself a chance. But they really won't have a chance because the Heat will come out of that series. So look for the Heat and the Indiana Pacers to square off in the Eastern Conference Finals. And that's what I think is going to happen for the NBA rapid fire real quick. Now, you may tell me, Cliff, the Wizards are bona fide to go. 
You may tell me that the Pacers are done. You may tell me that, hey, that first game with the Heat and the Nets are fluke, and you don't have any idea what you're talking about in the Western Conference. Or maybe you think Mike Donald won the fight. Either way, let me hear from you. Let me know what you think. Hit me up in my email, cliff at blackvideonews.com. And thank you for staying logged on. And always love us right here at Blacks in Motion.